YouTube, what's up, you guys? So, um, I'm in this chat, right? And uh, this guy wants to talk to me about relationships and stuff like that. He, he's having some issues. And it's that one issue that a lot of people go through where it's you and your ex-girlfriend, right? And you're one of your, I guess, your best friend or you're just a good friend, you know, is trying to get with that ex, you know? And then, you know, obviously the, nothing good comes from that. I mean, because, one, it makes it harder to stay friends with your ex because, you know, you're constantly going to be hearing about your buddy and it's hard to see your buddy because, you know, you knowing that that guy's trying to get with your ex. And the thing is, you can't just, like, move on from, like, a relationship with somebody that you've already been in when you've shared feelings like that. That connection is usually there. That's why they always say, you know, you always have that one place in, in my heart. Uh, so this is kind of like a vlog on love, I guess you could say. But um, this is um, a little bit more specific. Um, this, this, I want you guys to kind of take this into advice for any time something big or something stressful is happening to your life. Something that you, you know, that you just, you feel like you need help. You kind of lost your way. There's a quote I, I said. I don't know if somebody said this before or not. But the quote that I say is, never stress over something you can't control. I mean, because, I mean, if you absolutely cannot control it, when it comes to somebody's feelings, it, you can't control it. It's just like a little child. When you tell them that they can't do something, they're going to be so challenged to do it. You know, like, well, I'm not going to give you an example. I know You know what I'm talking about. But how to solve that, all right? When it comes to something that you can't control, like an ex-girlfriend, you know, being with your best friend, for example, don't focus so much on trying to tell her to, like, you know, not... Don't, don't focus on a way to get them to not be together. Because, one, that makes you look like a bad person. Two, it's not healthy for you because you're trying to think of something negative, how to keep two people apart who actually probably could be soulmates for all you care. You know, or maybe they'll get together and they won't even last. You know, think of it that way. And yes, it will be painful to watch, but you have to learn to deal with things like that. And how to deal with them well. And this also goes for all you guys who spend a lot of time playing video games, on the computer, YouTube, Facebook, a lot of times, alright? Like today, I've been spending my entire day almost, actually, yeah, the entire day on my porch, just kind of having an old person's day. And I'm going to go to the dog park here soon. But listen, let me get to this right answer real quick. How to solve your problems. How to solve a lot of big drama things. Learn something productive. Alright? Learn how to cook. Learn how to plant, you know, how to make plants, how to, uh, how to plant crops, or how to grow, like, a really small garden in your, in your area, whatever. Clean house, you know, learn how to build something small, something basic. There's a whole bunch of things that you can learn to do that will be productive. And the internet, you're on the internet for right now, right? Use it. You don't waste so much time on the internet for, you know, looking at videos that you could, you know, well... I don't want to say that you could probably see later because, I mean, obviously if you're on it now, you're learning something new. But, yeah, when it comes to something really big, something that you can't control in your life and it bothers you so much that that's all you think about, try to put yourself in another, another, another atmosphere, another environment, another world, another city, something like that, and learn something new. Learn how to con, learn how to cook, learn how to, you know, how to plant, learn how to uh, fix a car, you know. If you're with your parents and stuff like that, ask your parents. Say, can you teach me something new? Say, I don't care what it is. You know, I just want to learn something. Learn, learn how to do, like, a new art and craft thing or whatever. Because something like that, not only does it give you a better feeling of self-worth, it also, like, kind of like the depression thing, but it takes your mind off things, and it gives you time. It's like when you draw, and as you're drawing, you're thinking about something that's happening in your life recently. You're thinking about a movie. You're thinking about a book. You're thinking about a person, a situation, anything, you know? Your mind is just going while you're so focused on that one thing, that one project. And it gives you time to think about things like that. And eventually, you'll come to a solution. And if you don't come to the solution, the solution will come to you. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, yeah, this is kind of from my experience. And then, yeah, so stay positive, you guys. And spread the positivity. Inspire and influence those around you, the world around you, to live more positively. Because it's a healthier lifestyle when you're positive. All right, you guys, take care. Stay positive. Bye-bye.